Hey everyone, it's Dave from Dave's Ohio Barbecue. Today I am going to show you how I make steaks on my Weber kettle. Stick around. So as you guys can tell, uh, I'm outside, it's winter. It's, uh, it's kind of cold right now. It's probably about 25 degrees, but uh, my family um, really wanted steaks for dinner, so I'm gonna fire up the Weber kettle and uh, I am gonna make them some steaks. So if it starts getting dark while I'm doing this video, I apologize, you know, the sun goes down at around 5.20, 5.30 now, and uh, I may not get this all in, so I may be turning on lights and trying to uh, compensate for it. So I apologize if the uh, image quality gets a little funky. Uh, it's a pretty simple procedure. It's gonna be a short video, but I uh, wanna show you how I prepare the steaks, how I cook them, and then how I finish them at the end, which makes um, all the difference in the world to me. So to start, I've got a couple different types of steaks here. I've got some T-bones, and I've also got some sirloin steaks. Um, I like to salt these steaks about an hour uh, before I grill them. That way the salt has time to um, kind of absorb into the meat a little bit. Um, and then right before I take them out to the grill, I like to grind some fresh black pepper on there. Uh, I don't put the pepper on an hour before because I don't think it really does much to it. I think the pepper tastes better when it's fresh. And plus the meat will be moist from the salt and so it'll stick to it fine when I put it on right before I head out. I'm going to be doing this on the Kraft Cheese 1000. That's my Kraft Cheese Weber kettle that I bought off some guy for 20 bucks. I'm going to start with a really full chimney of charcoal. I might even mound it a little bit on top because I really want a lot of charcoal because I'm going to be doing about five steaks. I really want to get some heat in there. started I use one of those Weber lighter cubes and I start the chimney and I wait until it, the top is really good you know and at least mostly ashed over that way I know all the charcoal underneath is ready to go uh, dump it down into the bottom put the grate back on and then I like to put the lid on and let it kind of heat up for a little while. We're looking for a temperature, you know, somewhere north of 400 degrees and with today's temperature and the snow on the ground, um, that might be a little tough to do. So based on the thickness of your steak, um, it's going to depend, it's going to, you know, change your cooking time a little bit. These steaks are about an inch thick, um, so they need about mm, four minutes per side. So I usually like to go about two minutes, rotate it, do another two minutes. So that way you get that nice diamond pattern on it. But if you have really thick steaks, you may want to go three um, and then rotate. So six minutes a side total. But for this, we're looking at a cook time of about eight minutes, two minutes, turn two minutes, then flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Don't mind a couple of uh, chicken breasts sitting there. I uh, was just making those for lunch tomorrow. What I like to do to finish my steaks. Now, a lot of people finish steaks with, you know, like a, a balsamic reduction or uh, even just straight butter. Uh, my family is really partial to um, gorgonzola cheese. And what I do is um, I make this gorgonzola butter mixture to put on top and everyone loves it. Well, everyone except my son, because he's picky. So what I do is I take a stick of butter, salted butter, and I soften it. You can see here it got a little bit too soft. And I add about three ounces of uh, crumbled gorgonzola cheese to that. Then taking a fork, I just mash it almost like you're making mashed potatoes to mix all the butter and the gorgonzola together into sort of like a paste. Um, I like to cut it into little medallions and put it on top of the steaks. I think it looks nicer and then you can kind of control the amount a little better. So once I mash it all together, I dump it onto a piece of um, saran wrap and I kind of roll it up into a tube. I wrap it in um, aluminum foil just to kind of hold its shape and then I chuck it back in the fridge for a couple hours. Um, you could make this ahead of time like a day before. It doesn't really matter. As long as it has a couple hours to chill and firm back up, you should be fine. So once the steaks have been on there for the eight minutes um, and they're looking good if you want to temp them you can but um, I take a couple of the medallions of the gorgonzola butter I put them on top put the lid back on and get it to just start melting and sort of spreading out on the steaks once it does that those are done bring them in let them sit for about five minutes and then you are done delicious steaks that well, if you like gorgonzola cheese, you'll love. 
As always, thanks for watching. Make sure you tell a friend about my channel. Make sure you subscribe to me on social media. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Dave's Ohio Barbecue. I've got some more videos coming out soon, so make sure you check back often. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.